you Google Form Responses and Grades. This is video seven of a series of videos that is meant to help you integrate and use Google Forms uh, more effectively in your classroom. My name is Amanda Volz. I am a personal finance teacher at St. Clair High School in St. Clair, Michigan, and I am going to use a fine print activity in which students analyze a credit card agreement. I actually have used this activity in my classroom, so I'm going to show you how I can um, then take um, this Google form and view all of the grades and the um, answers and responses from my students. So when I opened this up, I was in like an editing, or not in editing, but a viewing window. So I want to click down here on the right hand side to edit this form so I can go into the editing screen of this particular fine print activity. And then up here at the top, you see that I have 143 responses. So when I click on the responses, I can see a summary I can see responses by question, or I can see every individual response. So for example, right now I'm just looking at a summary of my students, and the assignment was out of 15 points. The average was a 10.85, median 11, and then the range was about 3 to 13 points is kind of how students did or on this particular assignment. I can then go question, and I can look at um, every single question by question of how students did and what their responses were on here. And then I can also use the individual tab. So honestly, I use the summary and individual quite frequently. So I can look at this particular girl's assignment. I can scroll through it and I can see that she got some of these, most of these correct. I can see the one that she got wrong and what her answer was. And I can go down to the short answer and then I would manually have to grade those. So one of the awesome things about using Google Forms is for multiple choice questions like this one, it will automatically grade it for you. So it automatically graded this and then gave her the score or the point value in there. Um, so I'm going to actually go back to the summary tab just to show you a little bit more information. Here's where I can see all of the student's scores. So I can see the email address of my student, I can see their score out of 15, and that their score hasn't been released to them yet. And then you see more of a breakdown. So there's a breakdown of my hour, there's a breakdown of like the questions, so 142 out of 143 correct answers, like you can use a lot of this is awesome for like growth data or um, if you have to provide any of that for your district, having this like summary screen is really, really nice for that particular um, area or providing any of that data. So one of the things that Google Forms does not do is it doesn't automatically grade short responses or I guess longer responses in Google Forms. So if I click here on the individual and I go to that first student I see that everything is graded with the exception of this particular question. So I could go into this question, read her response, give her two out of two points. Do you see edits are pending? I hope you can see the bottom of my screen here. I can save her grade and then it will automatically update her grade for, to a 13 out of 15. I go to my next student which his grade is a 13 out of 15. I can scroll down and I can look at his. Okay, he listed them, but he didn't explain them. So I'm just going to give him one point out of two, save his, and then it automatically updates. I'll do one more for you. So his um, is again a 13 out of 15. He did pretty good on it. I go to the bottom. He did the same thing. So he just listed them. He didn't explain why he chose those. I'll just give him one point and save it. So you can pretty quickly um, grade these short responses in that individual tab. So once you've done that, if you go back to the summary tab, again in this responses, um, you can release the scores. So what that does, when I click on that button to release it, I choose all of my students that I want to release to, and it will send them an email with their grade and, and they have the capability of clicking on like a link to then go in and review their, their assignment and their feedback and their grade and all of that when you release it. So in that settings coggle, and I explained the settings in a previous video, but in this settings coggle, when you are on this quizzes tab here, see how I checked this later after manual review? And if you're if you're curious about the settings, you can go to a previous video and I explain the settings a bit more. But after the later part is what I'm looking at now where I can release their scores. One other option you have in these responses is you have the option to create a spreadsheet. 
So you can go in, and I use this a lot when I'm inputting grades. So I'll grade all of this. I'll go through and manually grade the short answer. It automatically grades the multiple choice. And then I will create a spreadsheet. So when I click on this, it's creating a new spreadsheet here. And when I create it, it's going to then have all of the information I need, particularly their grades, so I could transfer it to my grading system. So it's time stamped. It has their email. Then it has their score. And it has all of their answers right here in this spreadsheet. By the way, the spreadsheet does automatically update as students are finishing the assignment. So if someone did it late or whatever, it will automatically grade. And I can go in and I can input these grades into my gradebook from the spreadsheet, which I tend to do a lot of the times. So once you've created your form and customized it, you send it out to your students to complete, you will go back into this Google form and that's when you can click on the responses and you can access their answers and their grades.